The Chicago Lighthouse presents How to Get Around as a Person Who is Blind or Visually Impaired. Hello, this is Sandy Murillo, author of the Sandy's View blog. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's very important to the blind and visually impaired. How to get around. Public transportation has become more accessible thanks to the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. Buses and trains, for example, have audible announcements, and you can even ask the bus driver or train conductor to let you know when you get at your desired stop. Of course, if you're using public transportation, you need to know when the bus or train will arrive, depart, etc. Today's technology makes, makes it possible for blind and visually impaired people to access things like maps, timetables, and schedules. You can go to the Transportation Authority's websites. For example, in Chicago, the Regional Transportation Authority, or RTA. There, you can find the schedules and maps you might need. Of course, you can also contact your local transportation authority by giving them a call. Many regions may also offer smartphone apps that will tell users when the next bus will be arriving and departing. Some of these apps may already be accessible for the blind and visually impaired. Many public transportation authorities throughout the United States also offer a service specific for people with disabilities. This service is called paratransit, and people must meet certain eligibility requirements. To apply for this service, contact your local transportation authority. To access paratransit services, people must schedule their rides ahead of time, usually a day in advance. Once the ride is scheduled, you can be picked up and dropped off directly at your destination. Of course, besides public transportation, there is also the option of cabs. These are usually more commonly found in larger cities. It should also be noted that service animals, such as guide dogs, are permitted in taxi cabs under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Ride sharing services have also become very popular and are also a great option for people who are blind or visually impaired. Services like Lyft and Uber are services that people can easily access through a smartphone app. The Uber smartphone app, for example, is very accessible for blind iPhone, iPhone users. People can simply request a ride whenever they're ready to go. And depending on the driver's availability, you can get a driver within five minutes. If you're about to take a flight and may require assistance to navigate through the airport, you can request assistance when booking the flight. You can also let the airport staff know a day or two in advance so that they're aware about your specific needs. Sighted assistance can help you to and from the departure gates. If you're traveling with a service animal, Certain airports now have indoor relief areas for pets and animals such as guide dogs.